Gus, at the interview the start of the new season. How's pre-season been for you so far? Ah, it's, it's, it's been good, it's been tough. <laughs> it's been fine for me, the players. Have, it's been tough, it's been hard work. Um, as it always is, is to make sure that um, prepared for the, the rigours of the season ahead. Um, still early part of it as well. Frustrating, we picked up one or two injuries, most notably young Lewis McGee, who's broke his wrist in a game last Wednesday against Motherwell. You know, so disappointed for him and probably miss oh, six to eight weeks. Um, so that, that's the one thing you don't want is um, picking up injuries. You know, you want everybody to be available for selection. You know, when the season starts. And by my count, you've brought in 22 faces to the squad so far. 11 new faces. Some more well known than others to the supporters. Can you tell us a wee bit about the, the ones you brought in for the juniors, particularly the Kindling brothers, Dominic McLaren and Brendan Sharp? Yeah, the, 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 what, what we're all about is, to, is trying to give you know players an opportunity and to uh, challenge themselves at a higher level. Um, certainly from the fitness aspect, the, every single one of them has worked extremely hard. But they've, they've came from juniors. Juvenile football from Brendan and, and young Jan, Jack Dunlop that we've signed as well. So it's just trying to give them an opportunity to challenge themselves at senior level. So hopefully, it's still very, very early, you know, and people try to put their mark on the team and, you know, show the competitive side of it that we're looking for. Um, but signs early on are very, very good. We've played three pre season games so far. We're obviously about to start the Betfred Cup as of tomorrow night. I know last season you used that as part of the pre-season, is that the plans again this year? Yeah, I think it has to be when you have such a big turnaround of players. Every season or every other season, you, you have to use these games. I mean, you, you, it's just the nature of it. I've, I hear a few, or quite a few managers complaining of the early start and the format, but it's, it's there. It's something we've got to work within. Um, we've, we've got a squad of players there that are all desperate to impress. It's fantastic for the players to get the opportunity to play against SPL opposition, you know, and good SPL opposition and uh, challenge themselves against that level of opposition. Um, St Myrna at home and Kilmarnock away is something that, that every one of them is looking forward to. Obviously we start the, the, the cut with Dumbarton away tomorrow night, what's your thoughts going into that game? Yeah, well, they've just came out of the Championship, they've got a very, very experienced group of players, I went to watch them against Spartans on Saturday and they were very comfortable, they didn't get the goal um, Spartans defended very very well and very well organised um, but Dumbarton full of experience um, and it'll be a tough test for us Obviously dropped down a level to League 2 but what's your, your hopes for the, the season ahead when the league campaign does get underway? We've just got to be competitive I think, I think if you set targets there's only one thing that people do if you don't reach them and that's criticise um, it's a completely different squad of players um, I think we've probably lost eight maybe nine out of our starting 11 from last year it's extremely difficult you know to to assess and judge early on how that's going to affect you know and how players are going to adapt to playing at this higher level of football so um, we just need to wait and see but you know early signs and the, the fitness levels you know are very good and you've obviously made a number of additions to the squads that's something you'll look to to add to again before the, the season starts. No, we're in the position that we, you know, we, we rely on other people and other clubs, you know, to to decide whether you know we want to bring their players into the group. We've inquired about one or two, um, but certainly this group that we've got at the moment, um, we'll get every opportunity um, to to go and put a mark on it as well. Um, there's, there's competition for places right away. You know, some of the younger players have stepped up to the plate, like James Grant. Ali Miller, Calvin McGrory, they've had an opportunity in the pre-season. They'll remain in the first team squad for, for the Betfred competition. So, you know, that, that's what it's all about. You mentioned the younger players. It's a big season in particular for some of the younger boys we've held on to from the last season. Cammy Foy, Lewis McGee, Ewan McPherson. Big seasons for them, ahead. Yeah, the, the, all three of them. Unfortunately, Lewis has picked up another injury. All three of them, you know, last season were curtailed with, with injury. Um, so hopefully, um, for their benefit um, that they can get injury free run at it you know they've, they've already you know Ewan and uh, Cameron have looked fit strong um, and will only get stronger in the next couple of weeks and coming months 
uh, and hopefully they can have an impact. Thanks very much, Gus. Cheers, Sean.